so welcome to the vlog hey. for the week. This crazy hairdo is brought to you by the letters H and L for Hillsdale Lake, because that's where we're going today. It's also where we went yesterday, but we didn't do any vlogging or anything. We kind of just enjoyed the whole day. Not that we don't enjoy it when we vlog, but... Um, we left the phones in the sea, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so we were just lazy having so much fun. We just just kept having fun. So we're going across a very bumpy part of the road. So Hillsdale Lake, we've been there once before. It's over in Kansas. Actually twice now we've been there. Um, and it's the place where you can kind of just anchor your sea dew or your personal watercraft just right there. And it has a special dock and ramp and all that just for people that have like jet skis, sea dews, wave runners. And it's really cool. And so we also have a pop-up um, canopy, canopy tent. tent. So that's what we did yesterday. We just anchored our sea dew. We had the tent, and then we just were taking turns on the sea dew and talking to people and, yeah, and meeting we, people and seeing all the other watercraft. Yeah. And it, it will right by the ramp. The ramp's there. So it's really cool. We've talked people. about it before. You'll see video of it, but it's a whole. This lake has its own whole setup for um, PWCs, which is really really nice. It's. It's just really cool. I've never been to another Sorry, lake like Sorry, guys. It. I, if I would have remembered the road was this bumpy, hey, I would have waited. <laughs> but here's the thing. We, we take, like, it's three country roads to get to this lake from our house. So it's really not that far from us. It's like 45, 50 minutes to get there. So, anyway, not too bad. I'll let Angie take yeah, that Yeah, it's over. way too bumpy. <laughs> this part right here. So, sorry. But anyway, I just wanted to start the vlog. Today is Monday. It's Labor Day in the United States. And so, <clears throat> that's why we have the day off. And so... Yeah, and we were going to do some labor, like mow the lawn. That was my job, and we'd eat, and she was going to finish some laundry. But I was like, Ange, we had so much fun yesterday. I was like, it's Labor Day. We can't work on Labor Day. So we're coming right back to the same place yeah. we were yesterday. So I'm out floating on the sea dew. Brian, actually I see him coming walking down. See that blue tent up there? That's us. The one, like there's like a guy standing there on the edge. But you can like float your sea dews there with anchors. And so that's what we're gonna do. So Brian is up there filling our anchor with sand. It's like a bag that you fill with sand. And he's gonna get us a spot a little bit away from the congestion <laughs> and then we'll anchor it and then take turns going out riding and we'll also ride together so the setup is awesome. And I'm just sitting out here waiting for him to get done with that and then I'm going to go over there so I'm kind of just idling out here. side of that red one with the, the box on the back with this blue and actually there's one just like it over here we there's actually some reason, one just like ours right over there there actually looks like they're getting ready to go out on the possibly but yeah we just noticed all nine of these seated in view 
Sidebar, they're all CDs. They're all these, all these PWCs are CDs. Yep, not a single Wave Runner, not a single Jet Ski. All CDs. The guy out there, his is just like ours. Brian's getting ready to go out on a ride. We met this guy yesterday. Super, super nice guy. And so the two of them are going to go for a ride together. So this Bill has his CDs, that one there. And Brian's heading out to ours. And they're just going to go buzz the lake. Done at the lake, heading home now. It's almost 6 30. We've got to get up and go to work tomorrow, so we're gonna get home and get our showers and make something for dinner and probably just watch TV. But we had a really nice time. Um, it was awesome. Met Brian met another really nice guy. And then we met the other couple that we've seen the first time we come yeah. down, so we've seen them all three times. And I showed you guys Bill. He ended up having to leave because his um, CD wasn't running right, so. He was going to take it home. But it was just a really nice day. Probably had a blast. Good. Best yeah. Labor Day I've had in decades. Yeah. It's the last time we're going to go to that lake for the season because we have a trip coming up to Truman. This On coming, Friday, <laughs> Friday in like four days. We're leaving for that. Huh. Going back to Truman Lake. That's where the Osage River is also. And then we're going to plan another. We, we're going to, we think we're, no, we do definitely have an Ozarks trip, don't we? Yeah, we're going to the up there Lake of the Ozarks into the September. Yeah, the one that's the water's edge that's up like... Up at the top of the Gripoy yeah. Arm. And they were thinking about planning another one in October, but we'll see. May not take the sea to yeah, that one, but that just might go just down, be... enjoy the fall, the colors of the leaves changing, and just everything. So. Oh, there's the Welcome to Missouri sign. Welcome to Missouri. So, we just now got back to Missouri. Still got a little ways to get home, though. Yeah, probably another eh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It was a really, really, really nice day. Hey guys, <laughs> it's the time of day I guess with the sun. It is 3.11 on Wednesday and I'm on my way to Target to get coffee. Right now they have um, their Folgers 20% off. So I'm gonna get coffee and then while I'm there, I'm gonna look to see if they have any of their Halloween stuff out yet. I don't think they do because I looked online and like when there's things available in the store, you can like arrange for pickup or whatever. And I didn't see anything that said pickup in store. So I'm going to Target. I hate it when a, a, a big vehicle is next to you and you can't see if you can turn. And that was a school bus. <laughs> so I definitely couldn't see. So go to Target. How many times have I said that now? And then after Target, I'm going to go to hy V Because it's just right across the street. Because I need to get some bananas. And some different uh, grocery items. Not a ton of stuff. I just need like some breakfast and lunch stuff because tomorrow I go back to the building and I am so nervous about that it's like is my desk gonna be all dusty I wonder because they haven't been messing with our desks they're gonna be giving us um, sanitation supplies they're supposed to be providing masks and then They've been doing a whole bunch of sanitizing and everything, even with us not. There's a few people in the building, I guess, on a rotational basis or something. I don't know. But um, 
tomorrow's the first day back for a lot of people and so they're supposed to provide us with sanitation stuff because they said they don't touch your desk or your equipment your chair that kind of stuff so it's like I haven't been there in a year and a half it's gonna be all dusty and um, it's just gonna be interesting I hope my laptop hooks I'm able to get it all hooked up and everything I had some issues today with it it was the weirdest thing it's like this week what is today Wednesday Monday was a holiday yesterday and today has been so busy and then tomorrow is going to be just kind of busy too because I'll be getting there and having to hook up all my stuff and you know figuring out everything that's going on in the building and then I have meetings that just start at 8 30 so everything just like starts right up and yesterday there was some regulatory stuff and I was having to do like a whole bunch of different job tasks and then today there was a weird thing going on where I got like locked out of I didn't do anything but all of a sudden I was like locked out of the systems and the servers and the internet and just all kinds of stuff and so I had to call and get help with that and then they had to do some patches and just some you know different stuff and that took all told a couple of hours out of my morning um, so that was kind of weird so hopefully everything will be okay for tomorrow I'm sure I'm sure it will be I'll be I'll be hooking directly to the network I won't have to do a VPN or anything like that so and then Friday and I already talked to my boss because she was like I think pretty much everybody still wants to work from home on Fridays and I was like, oh good, because I said, we have a little weekend trip that we had planned. I said, first, when I found out when I was gonna go back, I was just gonna go ahead and work Thursday and Friday. And then the next week I was gonna take off or work from home on Friday. But this week, it's gonna end up being that anyway, because to spur the moment, we planned another trip, just a weekend one. She's like, oh, that's fine. She's gonna do that too. So next week's gonna be more like our normal week. But yeah, I'm just nervous about it. I mean, I don't know why. It's just weird. It's a weird feeling. And then I've also been asked for some help, or actually they asked for volunteers, and I, and I, so, and I volunteered. But there's somebody that is in the suite that I'm in and they retired and but they weren't able to get any of their stuff and so they want like their pictures and their books and just different personal stuff they have in the office but they're not allowed to come back in the building anymore because they're no longer an employee so um, some management was asking for volunteers in that suite and they had sent it to a few people and um, it's somebody that I knew that I used to talk to every day and stuff so I was, I'm happy to help with it and so the guy that's trying to arrange it he's like well I'll get with him and let him know that uh, you're you're happy to help and but we'll get a hold of you after you get a chance to get back into the office and get settled in for a little bit so I don't know when that'll be but hopefully they'll have they'll provide boxes or something so I can get his stuff together for him and then I imagine I'll be just meeting him like in the parking lot to give him his stuff so you know even somebody retiring is really weird and it's sad because he's somebody that had been with the bank for 30 some odd years he should have been able to have a retirement party and you know get a cake and they didn't get to have any of that but you know it is what it is kind of thing so I'm a target now so I'm gonna go in there and get my coffee and see if they have any Halloween stuff hey guys so Target is starting to get their Halloween stuff out they didn't have it all out they were stocking it and by the oh what's it called bullseye playground or dollar spot whatever you want to call it they had a few things that I got and I'll show you and then back in the regular Halloween stuff they had this skull it was like a it was like a jack-o-lantern you know the light-up ones but it was in the shape of a skull 
but it was a pineapple. So it had like the pineapple thing on its head and stuff. And this lady was over there with her friend and she's like, oh my God, I just love that so much. And I had picked up the last one. And she, and she was like, oh no, that was the last one. And she's like, oh, I'm gonna just, um, can I scan it so I can look at other targets? And I was like, sure. And she's like, I have a thing about pineapples. She even had a tattoo of a pineapple on her leg. And so I told her, I was like, you know, I don't need this. I can just keep watching for it. And if I find another one, I'll be happy. I said, but it sounds to me like you really, really want this. And so first she wasn't going to take it. And then eventually she did because I convinced her that I really did mean it, you know. And so she took it. But if I should happen to see it in the future, I thought it'd be really cute to put in the kitchen. They had like a pineapple one, they had a strawberry, they had like a little stacking one that had like an orange, an apple, and a pear. Just like all different little, uh, they also had some vegetables. They had a green pepper, a squash, and I think maybe something else. They were really cute. I thought they'd be cute in the kitchen, but you know. If you have a tattoo of a pineapple, you must really, really like them. So I didn't, I was perfectly fine letting her have it. So over in, so I didn't end up getting anything over there. So um, I just looked around. And then by the pet section, I got this for Django. It's a crinkly, he likes the little kicky ones. He likes to grab a hold of things and kick them. Like he loves to get Brian's shoes and grab them and kick on them. So I got him this. It's also got catnip and crinkly. And then over at the dollar spot or the bullseye playground, I got this pumpkin. I thought it was really neat. And I, of course I like that it has bats. They had, they also had like a hot pink cheetah, um, like a zebra print. Uh, just black and white striped and that's all my target had but I have a feeling they probably have more I just really liked the colors of this and I like the bats and then this is overpriced but I still I have like a little tear tray that I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put this on and put these I got these little bitty bottles of like potions that I think might look good on it but it's battery operated was five dollars which is probably overpriced but it's all right I like it and then I got they had these like paper cats see this is what they look like and there's different ones I just thought those were neat so I got the cats and then they also had <laughs> rats <laughs> Which I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm not afraid of rats or anything or mice and stuff. It's my understanding that rats are actually really good pets. I've never had one, but they're supposed to be really smart and clean. I know mice are not clean because we had mice when the kids were little and they're gross. We ended up taking them back to the pet store. Okay, so they had these little potion bottles little different ones. This one is Haunted House Dust and it's like a glittery orange. And then I got Eye of Newt. It's got like confetti and then eyeballs in there. Um, bat wings. Just has little, it's not just wings, it's like little bats in there. Um, Dragon Essence, which is glittery green. It's really pretty. Witch's Brew. It's glittery purple. Full Moon Magic, it has um, like these little moons and stars, 
thought that one was really pretty. And then the last one is Ghost Breath. And it's these little boo. See how it says boo? All these little boo, like iridescent. I thought they were really cute. They were a dollar a piece. And I was thinking, Dollar Tree has like little bottles, not this big though. They have little tiny, like smaller bottles that you could fill with your own stuff. But I was thinking by the time you made labels and got whatever you wanted to fill it with, you'd probably spend close to that anyway. So that's what I got. Um, over in the Halloween section where they were starting to get stuff out, they, they were not near done, but they did have a lot of repeat stuff. So like if you're somebody that collects um, like that line that's like plants and stuff, like Venus fly traps and the, the ones with the eyeballs, stuff like that. The ones mine has out right now were all the same as what they had last year. Now there could be, they could be getting more. It's just, I didn't see them yet. So I'm gonna go over to Hy-Vee now. And I'm trying to think. They had a, you know, that eek line. All that was the same stuff. Um, they might, there was a lot of empty shelf space though. So there could be new things. Seems like I remember last year having a lot of repeat stuff too, but I got my coffee. And their big canisters are normally $6.99. They were on sale for $5.99. Plus, um, if you use Cartwheel or the Amazon, Amazon, the Target app, you got like a coupon for 20% off. So I had the 20% off. And then if you use your Target card, you get 5% off. I always use my Target card when I go to Target for that extra 5%. It adds up, you know. So coffee ended up being a good deal. I got two of them. And then I got a, um, you know those pill holders for like day to day to put your pills in, like your medicines? I have one for at night that I use for my medicine, but I didn't have a morning one. I've just been, and then in the morning I have a calcium, I have a probiotic, and I have a blood pressure medicine I take. And so, you know, you're like opening all of them and getting everything out. And so I thought I could save myself maybe a couple minutes each morning if I just take the time ahead of time to fill out a, a pill holder, so I bought one of those. I was excited just to see anything Halloween, because, you know, I just love Halloween. I mean, I'll even look at Hy-Vee. They sometimes have, like, decorations and stuff. So I'm going to go there and get my bananas. And I just have a few things on my list. And it's funny, I turned, like right across the street from Target, there's a Joanne and a PetSmart and the movie theater and then Hy-Vee. And I'm just so used to turning over to here to go to like the pet store or Joanne, when really I should have gone a little further down, but I mean, this gets me off the highway, so. And they just remodeled our Hy-Vee. And I've only been in it once since they remodeled and I was with Brian and he was in a hurry. So <laughs> I might look around a little bit in the grocery store of all places. So anyway, I'm almost there now and I'm coming up to a stop sign so I can pause. So I'm done in hy V. Guess what I just realized? I left my phone in my car on the dash this whole time. I didn't even think about it until I got it to my car and I was like, where's my phone? And I looked up and there it is. I've never done that before. That's not a wise move. So now I'm gonna go home. Um, my car, my phone is hot because it's been in the sun. Um, I only got two bananas because since we're going out of town, I mean, we're not gonna be gone for a super long time, but I would rather get more bananas like Sunday for the week so and luckily somebody must have just wanted a few bananas and they left two so there was two right there waiting for me hey guys so it's Thursday 
It's my first day going back in the office and it's 5.39, just turned 5.40, get ready to make my coffee. <clears throat> I haven't used my travel mug in a year and a half, so I had to look for it last night. And uh, why hasn't the coffee pot started? Huh, I had turned on the, I thought I had the timer going, so my coffee's not even ready yet. So um, I guess I'll be brewing a couple of <laughs> Keurigs into my coffee mug because I need to get done and get out of here. But anyway, yeah, I'm just wearing normal work clothes. So I, um, yeah, don't, add, I have no idea why I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <clears throat> I figured out why the coffee pot is not brewing. I put coffee in it. I forgot to put water in it. You can tell I am <laughs> off my game. <laughs> so I just got into my office. It's kind of a walk. And they had masks ready for all of us. And these little packs with masks and surface wipes and uh, there's a plant that I'll show you. This makes me sad. This plant used to hang over both sides of this file cabinet. It was that big, this philodendron. And that's all that's left of it. That's my stuff. But look, isn't it crazy? Calendar still stuck on March. So anybody else that has a calendar, they're all stuck on March 2020 also. But it's really early right now. It's only 6.30. So we'll see who else is going to be here. But I need to clean my desk. It's got some... It's just kind of, you know, dusty and stuff. And then I got to hook up my new equipment. So it's so weird to be back here. Hey guys. So I made it through the day just fine. It was like... You know, as soon as I got back to my desk and everything, it was like normal and felt comfortable and everything. So, somebody walking by as I'm talking to my phone. So now I'm heading home and I'll be working from home tomorrow since we're going out of town tomorrow afternoon. Um, one other person, like I was just, I had just got done cleaning my desk and um, like dusting and stuff and then using the sanitizing wipes they gave us to sanitize everything and I was just getting ready to show you guys where in the pa they gave us all this little packet like a welcome back packet that had um, a pack of masks and sanitizing wipes and hand sanitizer but I didn't know they were going to give us hand sanitizer so I have this great big one that I got from Target so I was just going to show you guys, look here, I've got my giant one next to the medium size one, but then somebody else came in the room, so then I didn't feel um, comfortable, you know, recording. And so we were catching up and stuff, and it's somebody that I was expecting. I thought that they would probably be one of the people coming back. And so it was just the two of us for a while, and then one more person came in a little bit later in the day, and then there's... Um, another person that's on vacation so I think there'll be you know some more people but anyway the day went good and so now I'm gonna head home hey guys so it's Friday about a little bit after one and we're here we are in the car again Hello. for another adventure on the sea do we're going back to Truman Lake um, that's also where the Osage River is. That, so we'll definitely do the river. Yeah. We love the river ride. You guys
guys know how much we love that. So going back to Starrett Creek just for a short weekend trip. Um, we'll be back on Sunday. So And the weather's working out nice because it's going to be nice and hot and sunny, which is exactly how I like it when I'm out on the water. Yeah, so looking forward to just getting away for a little bit. Again, we've had an awesome summer with the sea -Doo. It's not done yet. We have another trip planned in September. We're thinking about doing one in October. That one I don't think will be a sea -Doo trip. It'll no, just be a probably not. getaway trip. But anyway, we're heading back out again. <laughs> So here we are. We're in a different unit this time. It looks almost exactly the same. Different comforter <laughs> or different quilt. It's a closer lake view, so it's even closer to get to see the lake. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Table, TV, lamp. I mean, really the only difference that I can tell so far is the other one had like a cutout right there where the trash can was, and this one the trash can is just there. But other than that, it looks the same. I mean, the there's, there's me. Hey there. So we went on the most amazing sea do ride. It's like we had the lake almost all to ourselves, just us and the wildlife and just a few fishing boats here and there. What were we at, about an hour and a half, you think? Yeah, about an hour and a half. We probably went about, about probably 15 to 20 miles um, one way and then back, but it was it a was nice awesome. ride. It was beautiful. The water was just three still. bald eagles. Yep, three bald eagles. And the last one, he was flying and we just, I turned the sea dew and followed him and basically flew with him for about, Yeah. They, go, they fly about 30 miles an hour. That's, what That's how was. fast eagles were going, yeah. that eagle, about 30. But uh, yeah, it was awesome. The water was just beautiful, the whole lake. You could just go for miles and miles. And it, it wasn't glass, but it was almost Close. glass conditions. And yeah, it, it was a good day for a nice long cruise it on the lake. Awesome. And it's a big lake, so you can go as far as you want to go. So now we're going to go to Sonic. Yep, that's, that's our routine. Yeah, this has become kind of like our little tradition when we're at Starrett Creek, go to Sonic and... Walmart. Then we're going to go to Walmart. A couple odds and ends. Yeah, I just need some like coffee creamer and I want to get like a piece of cake or Good something. Good exciting stuff like, you so, know, it's yeah. allergy season so Brian needs to get some allergy pills <laughs> that he forgot, you know, and a box of Kleenex because tomorrow morning my nose yeah, decides to go to war. The ragweed is all over the place. We can see it on yeah. the sides of the road and stuff. So. so anyway, some good exciting stuff at Walmart. Maybe, yeah. you know, a little indulgence for later. Uh, chocolate cake or something. Who knows? We'll, we'll have to see. That was a really nice ride. It was a great ride. Hey guys. So it is Saturday morning. And we're this morning we're going to head over to the Osage River. Um, I've got the GoPro. Um, see if I can get some gopro footage and we are the only ones on this side of the motel at Starrett Creek it's kind of eerie you know coming up here and you being the only car but it's also really nice because it's like the lake has been calm and everything and so we'll see what the river is like today and then we're gonna come back here we'll go back on the lake again too. We were going to go on an early morning ride on the river and then maybe go have breakfast. We're not sure yet. Neither one of us is hungry right now so it's going to be a nice day. Here comes Brian. He was checking out the sea dew.
nice ride and then we ate breakfast at a place called Rusty Skillet and I'm gonna put a clip of like getting on the water like me backing up off of the trailer and then like a clip of us on the water but we took several clips on the GoPro but what I'll do is put them into one video together by themselves in my playlist for the sea -Doo. so that way those of you guys that watch the vlog that don't want to see a whole bunch of sea -Doo riding that you don't have to you know I know you could double click like if you're on your phone you can double click and speed it up but I don't know I don't want you to have to do that so um, if you want to see the whole ride that we well not the whole ride we didn't record the whole thing but the longer version it'll be in the sea -Doo playlist so now we're going to go back and we're going to drop the sea -Doo off change our clothes and then we might come back to warsaw and walk around a little bit because there's like antique malls and stuff and then later we're going to go out on truman so truman Just lake float time. yeah so it's kind of windy today, which impacts the water, but since there's not that much traffic on the water, it's not really that big of a deal. But we found a better place to hook the GoPro. We've been like, we have a wrist strap and we've used that, but we also have this clip and the clip goes perfect on like this part of the sea -Doo where, you know, your hands free, you're not trying to hold a camera and drive a sea -Doo. But also you can reach it so when you want to press on for the video or off you can so it worked out really good that GoPro is awesome I mean is it like if you're looking down at the sea -Doo, you can see where it's bouncing and stuff but if you're just looking like at the horizon or the water it looks just smooth it's just really neat how it's able to do that but anyway so we're having a really nice time September 11th, it's Patriots Day. Never forget. So we're back. Don't mind the hair, it's hat head. We're getting ready to go back out on the lake again. We just got back from the antique mall and I've got my sun shirt back on, but I, I bought some books, so I figured I'd show you the books I got. They're um, R.L. Stein, and then another author that are kind of like the, not goosebumps, but like the age level above that, but I'll show you what I got. So this lady had these all together, it's the series, um, cheerleaders series. Fear Street, and then these two, like part one and two, is a series, and then this one just sounded really good. It's not R.L. Stein; it's another author, but really just the picture of the house is what drew me in the most, but they all sound really good, and these books like this I can read in a day, but I really like them. And then the other store we went to was like this little boutique where they make like jewelry and printed t-shirts and stuff like that. We also went to a candy shop and Brian got him some fudge, but I got me three t-shirts and I'll show you them. They're, I really like them. I think you'll like them too. So I got this one that has the Sanderson sisters on it. 
it's like these are I think are that like bleach technique that's way better than what I'm gonna try but so I got this one and then I got this one I love this this is like so me Halloween and cheetah so this one and then the last one it's this one Brian and I love this song we're always like singing it together it's just a fun song it's become like our sea do summer song but I just thought this was really cute I like how it's on a red shirt but these are like really super soft t-shirts too but I like that place out on Truman Lake Saturday 9-11 about 4 o'clock in the afternoon approximately 92 degrees out with the south wind about 15 17 miles an hour here we go eagle literally was flying right over the water in front of us. That was freaking awesome. It is Sunday morning. We're getting the truck loaded up with our stuff and we're gonna go for like a shorter ride on the Osage River this morning and then we're gonna head home and this is gonna be our last trip to Truman Lake this year. We'll definitely be back next year.
We just got done on the Osage River, and this is going to be our goodbye to the river for the year. Because it's already September 12th, and we won't be making it back to Truman or the Osage this year. We do have another trip for the Ozarks planned, so it's not goodbye to the lakes yet. We're back home, got done unloading my bag, was fighting with the GoPro, I was having problems with it, so oh, <laughs> now I'm gonna, I need to go through and figure out all the clips for the vlog and separate them from the, I, uh, now my cell phone battery is going low, but I can plug it in. So I'm going to start the, get everything arranged so I can start uploading the vlog and then I'm going to take a shower and then I've got to start getting all my stuff ready to go to work tomorrow. So we had fun and uh, it's a full week. So I hope you come back next week. <laughs> Bye.